Hey, it's Ian from Las Vegas Scooters and Lifts again, and today on my lift, I have got an LX3 wheel with 18 batteries and a big basket and a cup holder. Okie dokie, this was a trade-in for a new scooter. This lady bought our Revo 2.0 three-wheel that we just uh, got in not long ago. And this one is suffering with the dreaded transaxle. Yeah, This one has a bad transaxle. This is the one that I had to replace the battery. She had the batteries for about six months and run a five, five months ish. And the battery, one battery was bad, but the transaxle was even worse. It's about ready to blow out. There's a lot of lateral movement side to side like that, where it's coming apart, where the washers inside have worn down. Now I've got plenty of these already done, ready to go in my back in my warehouse. So hopefully that will be a quick transition of the transaxle. And I'll get it all cleaned up. It's in good condition, just dusty, dirty. This uh, lady was uh, in a senior home and she used it for traveling up and down uh, one of Las Vegas' most famous roads, Eastern. And it's quite hilly in the Henderson area, up near Green Valley, Henderson. It's kind of steep. So that's probably why she blew out the transaxle. And she was also a little heavy. So, uh, yeah, the more weight you put on these transaxles and the more strain you give them, then the quicker they uh, tend to blow out. Especially on the older version transaxle. I believe it's a... Ooh, let's see what year it is. Date of manufacture is 2018. So that's five years old. So that transaxle is done. The rest of the scooter seems okay. Just a little bit dirty, like I said. Just gonna be a strip down and clean. It's already got brand new batteries in it because I replaced those just under warranty for it, but she decided not to really do anything else with the scooter. So I've got brand new batteries in there for us and I'm just gonna replace the transaxle. So let's crack on with this one. I'm gonna leave the cup holder on the large basket. It's got a charger in the basket. I'm going to leave all that. I'm not going to do any paint work apart from cleaning it up. So it's just going to be a quick turnaround one on this. So uh, just a scrub and a bath and a new transaxle. So let's get into it. Okay, so you see the lady's name was Pam. So that'll be coming on. So let's take off the basket. Ooh, looks like it's been beaten into submission. Oh, cranky. So, the bracket I'll have to straighten out. I'm just gonna yeah, set you up on that. Let's get work on this. Oh, yeah. oh, there it breaks. Uh, it's just a lot more. They always break. Yeah, brackets all bent up. So there's the basket, bent and twisted. I'll straighten that as best I can. And the bracket, all bent up. So that's what's holding it on, but broken that bit. Oh, to worry, there are plenty of those. You get uh, brackets when you order new baskets, just as a matter of course. Still got it still. Take the cover from packaging. Seats pretty good condition. This one's cleaner, redoing. Like I said the battery box has got new batteries in it. So I'm alright. Problem is locked. Get the transaxle, get under that. Get that underway. Show you 
this trunk up. So. But I've gone through this before, but if you see any gap like that, that, that movement there, you can see the silver there, and now you don't. Any kind of movement like that, that's putting stress and strain on the transaxle, and it means the washers inside are breaking apart or have broken apart. A little bit crunchy, and that's the gears inside separating. And eventually, could be next week, could be a year's time, it will shatter apart and lock up. So, classic failing with these that's what they are, that's what they do. Hopefully, now they've changed these transaxles, it will uh, eliminate this problem. But, uh, heavyweight person going up a lot of steep hills, they're not made for hills eight degrees which is like an inch of rise like that that's the maximum these are allowed to do or well, not allowed that's what the manufacturer uh, states that they should do so yeah so let's get this apart replace it with a uh, a good one and then i can get into reconditioning the rest of it all right just a quick side note if you want to replace these shrouds, they're a pain in the ass to do. Absolute pain. I don't know how they put them up, originally put them in, but I always struggle getting this piece over. And there's another piece in there as well. You have to undo that one, that one, that one, that one. I think yeah, there's a stud there, a stud there that just locks that in place. There's another screw there and there. So that removes this panel here, this panel, and then, yeah, that's held in there. Just to take these off, and this piece is a pain in the butt to get over this bar and the bar at the top there. So I tend to leave them in situ and clean them that way. So just a little side note, if you do break the panel on the LX, be prepared to do some swearing. Transactors this week, then I need to put that in there. Okay. Oh. Keep everything safe and sound. Put the wheel back on so I can turn it over. Make Timmy Mallet. Break it. Break it loose. See if I got it. Yeah. There is an easier way to do that. Put it on the ground, then you can lock the tire in place, and then you can release it that way. It should only be sore. There's no torque specs for these, so. Just a matter of tight, not too tight, but not too loose that the wheel's going to start clicking on you. That's that clicking sound that you hear is that keyway moving around in the wheel slot. If you can see it, that little wheel slot there, and it starts that wears away sometimes. And it goes click, 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 click as it goes around. That's what you hear. and these access points here here just on the LX this is as you can't get as I'm trying to show you in there is 
Oh, camera really, it's really difficult. There's the opposing knot that holds those bolts. There's one either side. You can't get a socket in there. It just won't go because it's going to either damage the brake and you just can't get past that bar. I've tried a wrench, I've tried everything, and the way I find it easy to do is get a screwdriver. I've got a, a long, thin one, and you can kind of wedge it in there. And that. Try and get it on the head of the bolt, stop it from uh, spinning. And I'm just going to put it down so I can work on it. 13 mil. slide so you stick it in the left hole to undo it suspensions down there. You will have to, don't forget, I'm going to push those back in a second. You'll have to remove this gubbins. Get mark it. Don't forget to mark it if you're gonna replace this block. May do. I don't know what I've got in my back already built. I know I've got trim back for the Just in case after you reuse this. Connect the block again. Make sure that it's marked. You also have to remember which side it goes on. Because there's two mounting bars there and there. So it could go either there or there. Uh, just remember which side it goes on. This one's actually got a convenient sticker on top. while the motor breaks out of the frame I will give the frame a good clean up.
Alt. Again, these should be overly tight, but not too loose so the, so the block moves around. Now, this lady made the right decision by not replacing this transaxle, not repairing it. scooter is going to be adequate for your needs and she needed a bigger scooter with longer range still got the suspension with the Revo which is even better plenty of battery range on that 35 amp hour versus the 18s that were in this so that's your connector block loose transaxle loose just remember the orientation it's easy with this on Way handle goes, don't do what I did on the last one. I did on the sport, got it the wrong way around. I had to redo it all, put it in backwards or upside down. All right, so where's my transaxle? I mean, probably eventually I'll strip this one down and uh, see if I can fix it. If I've got any little washers, and to remove the block, just two screws underneath, one there, one there. And then just remember where your wires go. There's more to put on there. Just for locations for it to go back in the, in the front frame. So let's see what I've got in my warehouse. No Jennifer today, she's out and about getting batteries. <coughs> Excuse me. Pop the light on so we can see. Not many rentals out. We've got some going out, but not many. Mm. Through my hot graveyard. I have to go around that way. A big max in my butt. Okay. I'm just reading. You got already in the frame there. Couple of uh, motors there, brand new. Uh, looks like a Victory back end. Another Victory back end there. Just in case the uh, rentals go down. Lots of motors and brakes. Some golden. What's all that? It's golden companion. Another Vic. It looks like a sport. Yeah. Could be a sport. That's a different connector. So it's probably a Revo or Celebrity X. And then that's the Guardian. Guardian. Oh, you've got driving golden style. You look like golden. Yeah. But anyway. Let's see what this one says. Uh, rebuilt trans. Alex. Hmm. So, let's uh, try this one. Back like through the maze of poles and scooters. <sighs> Just we do the wheelchair rental. I've only got a couple. Turn the light off. I've got brand new ones there, but save those for customers. I can really build these myself. <sighs> Set you back up there. Okay, hopefully my microphone's working again. It's been a pain in the butt. So, yeah, got that connector block up and back together. Got the brake handle put on. Got all the bushings in the right way round because the frame goes on that way and times that way same for that way so they face upwards as opposed to that way on a regular go-go traveler ultra x so on and so forth but uh, yeah they fit on with a lump with a square piece facing that way top of the motor 
So that's all ready. I know this uh, motor and transaxle, I did rebuild it. It's from DR, I know DR. Um, so hopefully it, uh, it works, so. I know he, he didn't have his scooter long, but he does do a lot of uh, off-roading on it. So he busted open the transaxle. So I've got the back end on my bench, ready to give it a clean up and uh, crack on with that. So. All right, the LX is all done. It came out really nice. It's uh, clean up beautiful. It's like a new scooter. Yeah, transaxle turned out really good. It, uh, it works perfectly, no noise or anything like that. Brand new 18 amp batteries, and the, you can't get that pack anymore. All clean, all polished. It's in really good condition. You got a large basket, charger, and your cup holder, so you can put your drinks on there. Yep, I fixed the key barrel, so everything's okay with it. Yeah, shame it's missing the little rubber cover at the front there, but that's just cosmetic. I'm not worried about that. If I come across one, I'll put one on, but if not, tough, but it'll stay as it is. So let me know what you think in the comments. If it's uh, something you would buy, let me know. So uh, yeah, till next time, like, share, subscribe, Hit the bell, hit the notifications, leave us a comment. Got any questions, drop them in the comments. We'll answer as best we can. So, till next time, I'm on LX, rebuilt. Keep on rolling. Bye now.